Hello and welcome to the Sinmu Tech Tips and Tricks video series. Today we are going to look at how we can import a grid of nodes and elements that you have exported from a third party tool. Typically if it's in ANSYS, Abacus or Nastran formats, Workbench can import them natively through the external model component. Whereas if you just have a grid point like this, so this is, these are the node numbers and these are the XYZ coordinates. And then similarly, these are the element numbers in the first column and these are the node connectivity. So node numbers 1 to 8 for an 8 noded hexahedron element. Right, so if it's not in a specific format that ANSYS Workbench can import, you can easily convert this into an APDL input deck that can be used to create an ANSYS CDB file which is an uh, APDL archive that can be imported into Workbench through uh, external model component. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy all of this information here. So basically nodes and their coordinates and then element numbers and connectivity. I have a blank Excel worksheet open here. I'm going to paste it in row 2 column number 2 here. So when I paste it, you can choose the text import wizard here. So it's a delimited file. I'm going to choose space delimited so I can get the correct columns. And then finish. Okay. So now I have that information here. Now to convert this into an APDL input deck, the commands we are going to use are the n command, which has this format. So n comma node number comma x y z, and then e n for element. So e n comma element number comma node numbers one through eight, and then finally c d write command the database with all the nodes and elements to a file with an extension. Right, so these are the three commands we need. The common thing for uh, like the APDL command syntax is the fields are separated by commas here. So we are going to take advantage of that by converting the Excel file into an APDL input deck and saving it as a CSV file. So these commas are placed, so that's the idea. So I'll go here. So the first command I'll have to use here is prep7, which means I go into the pre-processing mode in APDL. So that's another command I need to remember. So I input that. And then here I just come in and type n. And then I'm going to copy that n. all the way to the end here. So when I save this as a CSV file, it's going to be n comma 99 comma 482 comma 0 comma minus 11, which is the exact syntax we need. And then for the eight noted elements, we need to define an element type. So for that, I need the command et comma type number 1 and then 185. Right, this is an extra line I don't need. I'll delete that line. So if I go back to the help, look at the et command, element type, comma, some arbitrary number. In this case, I'm just saying it's element type number one, comma, element name. Here, since it's an eight-noded hexahedron, I'm going to use 185 or solid 185. So you need to know the names of all the uh, element types available in ANSYS for you to define it properly. So in this case, like I said, I'm using 185, which is a 3D8 noded structural solid. If I'm doing shell elements, I'll have to use 181 and so on. So I'll, I'll not be covering that portion in this video. Anyway, so if we go back to the Excel, so ET comma 1 comma 185, and then the next is EN. I'm going to again copy this for the first column up to here, right? And then finally, CD 
write the database which is the finite element model to some name so let's say test comma cdb so cd write comma db comma test comma cdb will be the resulting command it writes so i'm going to save this go here save as and then choose the csv file format call it grid.csv in this case it's fine i'm going to save it close out of the excel so i saved the grid.csv if i open it in notepad so you can see slash prep 7 command and then n comma and so on right so that's all we need so now in workbench i'm going to add a mechanical APDL component. I'm going to add that CSV file as the APDL input file. Now I'm going to update the cell. So if you keep an eye on the files tab here, you can see as soon as that input file was processed, the test.cdb file was written. Now I can use the external model component to read in that CDB file. So I'm going to go edit, browse, go to the folder under my project, and find the test.cdb file. Now I'll be able to add a static structural, for example, and transfer this to the model cell of the static structure. So if I update this, then update this component, going to skin the nodes and elements and create a finite element model out of it. I go and edit the model. So that grid has been converted into a solid model. Now I can continue applying loads boundary conditions like usual. Thanks for watching this video.